Good evening, family, friends, and on behalf of me and the graduating class of 2019, I'm glad you guys all can make it, and I hope you enjoy the ceremony. Thank you so much for coming. We did it, guys. If you could please let me pray over this class one more time. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for getting us to where we are now. Thank you for always being by our side. And please, we invite the Holy Spirit into this place today. Holy Spirit, you're welcome here. Come fill this place and fill the atmosphere. We love you so much, and thank you for all your many blessings. Amen. of hiding, you're safe here with me. There's no need to cover what I already see. You've got your reasons, but I hold your peace. You've been on lockdown, and I hold the key. Cause I loved you before, you knew it was love And I saw it all, still I chose the cross And you were the one that I was thinking of When I rose from the grave Now read on the shackles, my victory is yours I tore the veil for you to come close There's no reason anymore you're not far from home and I'll be your lighthouse when you're lost I see and I will illuminate everything no need to be frightened by intimacy no just
Good evening, friends, family, faculty, and fellow graduates. My name is Chloe Chacon, and I am senior class vice president. To start off, I would like to thank the Academy, and by the Academy, I mean Chisholm Trail Academy. I also want to thank everyone here tonight. Thank you for your support and love for every one of these graduates here today. I'd also like to thank our teachers because without them, we, not, we would have not acquired the knowledge needed to graduate in the first place. They have put up with a lot and we are so grateful and appreciative of everything they've done for us. Without them, we would not be here. Finally, I would like to thank God for all he has done in us, uh, in us and in this school. Without him, none of us would be here because he lives and we have an Adventist education. Something we all, uh, something we are all a product here. We've done it, we served our four years and I cannot believe that's the end. We've come so far together as a class. It seems like only yesterday, we were all at a fish camp meeting for the first time. At the, I did not think I would have all the friendship I've made today, and I certainly did not think I'd be giving the vice president speech on graduation day. We have so many amazing memories together, like senior retreat. Honestly, I think we had the most injury rate at CTA. Um, <laughs> Nevertheless, we still made a best of our scenarios and had a blast. Something I hope and pray for is that you all continue to remember and cherish the memories we have made. As much as we may want to go back, we can't. We have to hold on as tight as we can to these memories. Many wise people have said over the years, all good things must come to an end, and it's true. We've had our fair share of ups and downs, and there's all part, that's all part of the high school experience. I'm just glad those ups and downs were shared with all you guys. I wouldn't change a thing in these amazing four years. I enjoyed watching us grow, mature, and discover our passions looking from the inside. Most people have the privilege of watching their kids or siblings grow up from, the point of view, from their point of views. However, being part of the experience personally is something different and special. I cannot wait to hear all the successful stories and all the accomplishments later on in life as we continue our career paths and live in general, honestly. <laughs> I love you all and may God continue being with us in every step that we take. Well, here's our final high school experience, guys. Time only goes on in one direction, so let's live life to the fullest. Let's seize the day. Oh. <laughs> it is my privilege to welcome uh, tonight's speaker. Um, I'm beyond proud to be able to call him my friend. He graduated CTA in 2012, and he was, well, he is currently now in the Andrews Seminary. Please give a warm welcome to Pastor Austin Powell. Class of 2019, it is an honor to get to talk to you today. You know you made it. You have successfully survived high school. And I can promise you that this is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. You will never graduate from high school again, or so I hope. So I want you to take a moment and suck it all in. Take it all in. Look at your friends. Give them the head nods. Give the person next to you a high five. You did it. And I want you to go look out. Look at your friends, your family, the ones who have supported you since the very beginning. You know, they are so proud of the young men and women that you have become. Now, class 2019, before I get into this, I just want you to know I know my place. You see, I know five years, a year, a month, a day, even five minutes from now, you're going to forget everything I said. And that's all right. Because, you know, I, as I was said earlier, I graduated in 2012, and when Mrs. Hall asked me to speak today, I asked all my friends, I even just asked somebody here today, and I was like, do you remember 
what they said at our graduation? None of us remembered. And I asked, and I said, do you remember who spoke? None of us remembered. So class of 2019, I understand, and it's okay if you don't remember anything I say. But I want to share with you three semi-words of wisdom today. All right? These are three things I hope that as you leave these doors, you will remember. The first thing, class of 2019, I want you to always remember is that you will be forgotten. You will. Face it. Like it or not, your time here at CTA will be forgotten, just as the class before you, and the class before them, and the class before them. You will be forgotten, but the legacy that you leave will never be forgotten. You know, the CTA that we love was built on seniors like you who have left a positive legacy. And you know, many of you might be wondering, what legacy did I leave at CTA? And before I share with you, I just have to apologize because looking back, I did something that was totally messed up. And I need to ask for forgiveness. You see, two weeks ago, I went to CTA and I brought a lot of food with me. And it was during lunch, and I said, this food is for everybody but the seniors. And I just want to apologize. That was really messed up in me. But a Bible class, we made up, right? Right? We're good? But I asked them, or as they said, I bribed them to see what legacy they felt that you left. And I got over 50 responses, and I would just like to read some of those with you. Is that okay? This is the legacy that your underclassmen felt that you left. They said that you have set the academic standard for them and have challenged them to succeed even more in their studies. They said that you have elevated the performance of all the sports teams at CTA. And in their words, your class is just fit. Many of them said, because of you, CTA now feels like home. They felt like you have always supported them and have challenged them to be better. That as a class, you have set the standard of character that they are striving to live up to. They also said that in the past years, that they have seen you all rise up to become the spiritual leaders of CTA, and that it has challenged them to become more active in their spiritual life, both at home and on the campus of CTA. And finally, and most importantly, many of them said, that it was all of you that showed them Jesus Christ. Class of 2019, the most important thing is the legacy that you leave. And that's why I want to challenge you, as Paul challenged the First Thessalonians in chapter 1, to live as people who are looking up. And now it doesn't mean to live as people whose nose are looking up, but it means to be people whose eyes are on what matters the most. To be men and women who are not distracted, who are not entertained by the petty things on the ground, but whose eyes are focused on the bigger picture. Class of 2019, I just want you to know, and I believe we all here are convinced that you are this world's most dire need. You know, we're living in a society that is fascinated with heroes, aren't we? Everybody is looking for a hero. In class of 2019, they are looking for you. Men and women of integrity and character. In a society that is decaying morally and is corrupt, they are looking for you to show what character and integrity is all about. Class of 2019, I want to share with you, real briefly, a point that is from your aim. Your aim is, he who is afraid of failure is afraid of success. And you know, I, along with your teachers, your family, your friends, wish that, we could, wish that we could promise you that as you leave these doors, that you will go to the school you want to. That you will get the grades that you desire and even study your brains out for. You know, we wish that as you graduate that you would get your dream job and that life would go right according to your five-year plan. I wish I could tell you that would happen. But you know what I can promise you? That as you leave these doors, you will make mistakes and you will fail. But I want you to know that it's not your failures and your mistakes that define you, but it's what you do afterwards. 
You know, in Proverbs chapter 24, verse 16, it says, A righteous man falls seven times, but gets back up. But a foolish man falls once and is left to destruction. Class of 2019, there will be times that you feel like the whole world has turned its back on you. Where you feel that you are at rock bottom and where you feel that you have nowhere else to go. And I want you to remember this one thing. That when you are there, when you don't know what to do, that you have a savior, a friend, and a king who will never turn his back on you. That when you're in that pit and you don't know the way out, that Jesus is always there and he always has your back. Class of 2019, I told you I'm going to keep this simple, short, and to the point. So I want to end with one last story. It's a story of a young Spartan wrestler. You see, during this time, the Olympics were ran and held and controlled by the wealthy and the elite. The competitors in the Olympics were only those who came from wealthy families. But here was this underdog. He was a young Spartan who came from nothing, but all he had was the tenacity to succeed. And there he was, to the surprise and the amazement of the crowd, to the competitors and the judges, he won time after time after time. And then finally, on the day as he was going to compete for the finals, his competitor's family comes up to him. And the family says, you know what, if you forfeit or if you give up, we will give you, your village, and your family enough money that you will never have to work another day in your life. And to that, the young Spartan wrestler simply declined. After that, he wrestled and he won. And someone came up to him after the victory. And they asked him, they said, I have to know, why didn't you take the money? And all he said was, the money was not worth forfeiting the prize. Because you see, the prize for winning the Olympics was the honor and the opportunity to fight in battle right beside the king. Because you see, the ultimate prize for him was to be beside the king. In class of 2019, I want you to know, as you leave these doors, there is no greater measure of success than to get to live right beside the king. And I want you to know that God has such great and lofty ambitions for you. He has a life that is more than you could ever imagine. But to get there, you have to learn to be people who live your lives looking up. Thank you. So this year, um, I had the privilege of serving as our class treasurer. And um, so as a class treasurer, I get to present our gift that we're leaving to CTA. So um, with the extra funds, the funds that we worked hard over our four years, we uh, obviously took our class trip. But the other thing we've decided to do was we decided to help elevate the aesthetic of CTA. And we have decided to uh, present money uh, to go towards painting all of the classrooms and hallways of CTA. So that way, uh, it gives it a new and fresh look on the inside. Um, so the other thing is that, especially those of us who are officers, we know that this year, it was a fun year for us you know, as officers. It was, we had a lot to do. We had a lot of things we had to take care of. Um, and if you got to sit in on one of our meetings, you would have known that things were stressful at times. And the stress definitely showed from us as officers and from our sponsors. And uh, we would not be standing here with all of the things we got to do this year without our sponsors. So um, as a token of our appreciation for both of our sponsors, um, which where are they? Miss, Miss Wacker and Mr. Coker, uh, who I can't find them. Right here. Here we go. Um, if you guys could come to the stage, like receive your gifts, please. Um, yeah, so I don't know how much the other parents know, but my parents for sure know that we had a lot that we had to do this year. And especially when it came to planning the class trip, we had a lot of fun with that one. Um, they, uh, the, the sponsors definitely 
definitely uh, did a lot to help us do that. So uh, we are presenting them with both uh, Bibles that have like note sections in them. And these Bibles are uh, highlighted with each officer's favorite verse. So that way when you go through them, you can see what each one of our favorite verse is. So here you go. This is yours and Miss Wacker. Here you go. So we appreciate you guys. Okay, my, my turn is to present the awards for next year. Um, we have a few awards to present, and this one comes from um, Albert Polly Memorial Scholarship Fund, $350, to Kayla Anderson. The next one is uh, from Albert Poly Memorial Scholarship Fund, 350 to uh, Zachary Licon. Oh, there he comes. The next one's come from uh, Lyndon Davis Memorial Scholarship Fund for 200 to Emily Watt. The next one comes from Vanessa Fisher Living Scholarship Fund, 500 to Danny Alienko. Thank you, Emil. Congratulations. Congratulations, Danny. The next one's come from Dale and Louis Anderson Memorial Scholarship Fund for 400 to Luis Garza. The next one's come from uh, Dale and Louis Anderson Memorial Scholarship Fund for 400 to Sandri Andrade. Come on, Luis, hurry up. Good evening. We at Southwestern Adventist University are super excited for you guys. Um, we have a lot of love for our home academy, Chisholm Trail, uh, and uh, we really uh, just are blessed to be here uh, to present uh, the scholarships that these students have uh, been awarded. And uh, these are, just so you know, are based on uh, two things, so based on their high school GPA and based on their standardized test, so ACT, SAT. So, um, and uh, I have a little, uh, you know, thing I have to read here, but uh, I'll go as quick as I can, um, and I'll hit the highlights here. But I just want to say on behalf of uh, our president, um, Dr. Ken Shaw, um, that, uh, and our faculty and staff, that we are proud of each member of the class of 2019. Super excited for you guys. And we congratulate you all for completing this milestone. Um, 
And uh, what we like to do every year is kind of hit you guys with a, a total of exactly how much we award each class. It's kind of uh, a cool thing to do. And so out of all of these students that have been accepted into Southwestern Adventist University, um, we are awarding them $292,000. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, and that's their hard work, so definitely. Um, and w when uh, Pastor Austin was up here, it was like, I was doing the math in my head. I, it's hard to believe I was part of the recruiters that brought him into our university back then. And, and I was doing uh, more math. I was like, it's been 14 years since I graduated from high school. So I don't know if you guys realize that. That's kind of crazy. And my 10-year anniversary from graduating from Southwestern is next year. And so it's, it's kind of crazy to think how fast time flies and how quickly you guys are going to uh, maybe be in my shoes or in the shoes of a lot of uh, people in this crowd that have been through this. And so um, it is our hope that uh, the, the amounts that we're going to award today are going to help these students achieve their goals in life. So the way we do it, um, there's multiple different levels. Um, so we're going to start with uh, leadership scholarships. And uh, as I announce them, um, just make your way down here and I'll, I'll hand them out to you guys. So... Um, first off, we'd like to uh, award a leadership scholarship of $4,000 to Natalie Alassar. All right. And a leadership scholarship of $4,000 to Lexi Bradwell. And a leadership award of $4,000 to Dylan Friesen. All right, where are we at? And uh, another leadership award of $4,000 to Hannah Kim. Did I give you the wrong one there, uh, Dylan? Or did I give you the right one? I have, this is Dylan's here. Does, is that the right one? Did I get off one? Oh, sorry, yeah. Dylan, I gave you the right one. Here you go, Hannah. Sorry. I gave him my run sheet, and now, Hannah, here you go. Sorry, the list is so long. All right, let me put that behind there so I don't get mixed up there. There we go. All right, um, so next award here, let me keep my finger. Um, leadership Scholarship of 4,000, Jostely Gonzalez. All right. All right, next award is a Leadership Award 4,000, Jessica Klein. All right, next up, we're moving on to the, uh, oh, actually, we got one more leadership award of $4,000 to Bianca Quiroz. All right, now we're moving on to achievement awards. So these are awards that are going to be awarded every year renewable at Southwestern. All right, and the uh, first one is for $12,000 to Ashley Valencia. All right. All right, next achievement award of $12,000 goes to Miranda Hanks. All right. All right, next achievement award of $12,000 goes to Nayeli Romero. All the way at the top. Dangerous. Congratulations. All 
All right. Okay, next achievement award of $12,000 and a leadership award of $4,000, Chloe Chacon. Right. All right, now we're going to move to, excuse me, actually we got one more achievement award of 12,000 and a leadership award of 4,000 to Carla Sevilla. All right. All right, so now we have an Academic Dean Award over four years of $16,000. And let me see, I'm going to pronounce this right because she told me how to pronounce it. So, Chinying Yan. All right. And now we have an Academic Dean Award of $16,000 and a Leadership Scholarship of $4,000 for Allison Camilleri. All right. Academic Dean Award of $16,000 and, again, a Leadership Award of $4,000 for Grant Carlisle. All right. Academic Dean Award, 16,000, and a Leadership Award of 4,000 for Angela Sear. Yeah. All right. We got a lot of these. Academic Dean Award again for 16,000 and another 4,000 for Leadership, Alethea Galvan. All right, Academic Dean Award of 16,000 again, and another Leadership Award of 4,000 for Patrick Hill. All right. Academic Dean Award of 16,000 and a Leadership Award of 4,000, Hannah Seidel. We need to give these ladies a hand to not fall coming up and down with those heels on. My goodness. All right. It's dangerous. So moving on to our trustee awards. All right. These are the ones in the fancy envelope. Um, so these are actually the largest academic scholarships that we give out at Southwestern. All right. So the first trustee award of $28,000 goes to Caleb Hind. All right, and last but certainly not least is our last trustee award of $28,000 and a leadership award of $4,000 going to Christopher Adams. All right, so just a, a little caveat here. Um, some of these students actually are going to be awarded scholarships if they take some standardized tests later. So if you're, uh, you have a graduate up here that doesn't quite have one yet, we're working on that, so don't worry. Um, but we just want to say once again, just congratulations on behalf of Southwestern Adventist University to the class of 2019. Let's give man. Nolan, uh, only 14 years. Time flies. I graduated 47 years ago from high school. 
and I know it, I look it. <laughs> Tonight, we want to recognize three students for not perfect attendance, but outstanding attendance over a four-year period. And uh, as some would know, you know, there's a number of students who miss a number of days. So this is uh, worth noting tonight. So as I call your name, if you'll come get your certificate. Alex Domini. Congratulations. Caleb Hine. Valerie Payton. Congratulations. It would be nice to have a stand to put this on. But anyway, okay, let's see here. Uh, make sure I have the right one. Each year we hand out what is called the Caring Heart Award. This is an award that comes from the Southwestern Union. And this is given to a student that is chosen by the faculty. Uh, this student represents what we would want a CTA student to represent. And this young man that will receive this tonight uh, is a very uh, spiritual young man. Uh, he's very academic. And one of the other requirements is that they participate in community service, which, as most of you know, is a requirement of our school anyway. But nonetheless, we're very happy to present this award tonight to Mr. Jack Bendel. <laughs> By the way, this award uh, he has a Bible in there, there is a plaque, and there is a stipend for $500 which can be used for tuition and or a mission trip. This next award, the Excellence in Teaching Award, I told the teacher I was going to make him come up here and stand, but I'm going to let him sit as long as they can. Uh, they acted like they were nervous to come up here. But it is a joy and a pleasure to recognize the hard work and the dedication of our teachers. Uh, they work so tirelessly. And this particular teacher uh, is our Spanish teacher. She teaches Spanish 2, 3, and 4, or 1, 2, and 3, I'm sorry, and a Bible class. She is our mission trip coordinator, which involves a lot of work planning our mission trips. And she is a tireless worker. She is a spiritual mentor, in my opinion to the students and the faculty as well. And I want to recognize Ms. Rosie Briones tonight. The excellence in teaching, there is a clock uh, in her bag that has uh, a plaque on it that they have inscribed. Also, it has a very nice stipend in there, and we'll just leave it at that. Will the first row please stand? Bianca Yvette Quiroz. <laughs> Chloe Alexis Chacon.
Alethea Michelle Galvan. Grant Andrew Carlisle, Academic Excellence Diploma with Honors. Dylan Chandler Friesen. Jostely Josue Gonzalez, Academic Excellence Diploma. Christopher Nathan Adams, Academic Excellence Diploma with Honors. Natalie Alazar. <laughs> Lexi Renee Bradwell. Allison Joy Camilleri, with honors. <laughs> Angela Eden Sear, Academic Excellence Diploma, with honors. Second row, please stand. Christopher Ruben Davis. <laughs> Alexandria Kendall Domini, Academic Excellence Diploma with Honors. Benjamin Gonzalez. Miranda Michelle Hanks. Patrick Miguel Hill. <laughs> Caleb Alexander Hind, Academic Excellence Diploma with Honors. Matthew Dean Husted. <laughs> Joshua Allen Kelsey. Hanum Kim, Academic Excellence Diploma with Honors. <laughs> J. 
Jessica Emily Klein. Daniel Nathan Kraus. Seth Bradley Lefave. Third row, please stand. Zibo Siso, Prince Endebele. <laughs> Daniela Orozco, Academic Excellence Diploma with Honors. Valerie Bernice Payton, Academic Excellence Diploma with Honors. Sarah Elizabeth Page, Academic Excellence Diploma with Honors. Nayeli Romero. Jocely Camille Sanchez, Academic Excellence Diploma. Hannah Renee Seidel, Academic Excellence Diploma with Honors. <laughs> Megan Nicole Cerna. Carla Sevilla, Academic Excellence Diploma with Honors. <laughs> Ashley Yanelli Valencia. Shanika Kiana Williams, Academic Excellence Diploma. Chenin Yan, with honors. Third row, please be seated. Okay, at this time, we'd like to introduce to you the senior class of 2020.
If I could have everybody bow our heads for the closing prayer. Dear Holy Father, thank you for this wonderful opportunity to graduate from this academy. Thank you for this class. Thank you for all the parents that are here tonight. Thankful, thank you for everything that you've done to get us here, to help us make it through, through all the hard assignments, tough times, and all that. Thank you so much, and please help us to have a bright future. In your name, amen.